Hi, I'm Iman Oloileke, Canon Ambassador based in Lagos, Nigeria. Today I'm here to give you a glimpse into what's contained in my camera kit bag. So I start with the cameras. Because I shoot a wide range of genres across fashion, portraits, lifestyle, even sometimes sports and architecture, I had to go for a camera that allows me to shoot seamlessly across these genres and that is the Canon mirrorless EOS R5. This camera spots a 45 megapixel sensor and I mean it just gives me all the versatility I need in terms of speed, in terms of power, in terms of image resolution. This camera just does it for me effortlessly. Uh, I can shoot fashion easily because of the speed. I can shoot portraits. I can shoot commercials. Uh, the 45 megapixel uh, sensor enables me to generate high resolution prints from this really small body and it's just a workhorse and a perfect tool in my camera kit box. All right now to my backup body. It's just twice as good. So I have another US R5 in my camera kit bag as my backup camera. Now going over to the lenses. I use a wide range of lenses uh, because I shoot a wide range of genres but uh, first on my list will be the Canon RF 50mm which is a workhorse. It's it has an amazing build. I mean almost every day I cross all genres for portraits, for fashion, uh, I mean for lifestyle, even documentaries. This lens is just an amazing lens. It's it's so sharp from end to end and it sports a 1.2 uh, aperture which means I can actually throw things out really out of focus I can use a very very shallow depth of field and blow things out whenever I need to and then it's just a very durable lens uh, it, it's quite well built and it's a fast lens it focuses uh, really fast and it's just a no-brainer so this sits in my camera kit bag every day all the time next on my lineup of lenses I'm going to show you the 85 mm 1.2 it's an rf lens it's a very very fantastic lens um, this lens is the defocus smoothing version of the 85 there are two versions of it the non-defocus smoothing and the defocus smoothing uh, the difference is just in the bokeh and the, the quality of the bokeh um, so this 85 mm lens is really really good uh, i use it a lot when i shoot portraits and environmental portraits uh, i i use it a lot uh, even when I'm shooting fashion and I need some really nice compression in my background uh, this lens is my go-to lens and it sits right in my camera bag every day any day and all day so next on my lineup of lenses will be the 16 to 35 EF lens uh, it's an amazing lens I've had this lens for many years and it just sits right in my camera bag every single time uh, it's a versatile lens I use it across different genres I use it sometimes for sports I use it sometimes for architecture I use it for uh, sometimes for fashion and even portraiture uh, sometimes when I need to exaggerate or accentuate a, a particular form uh, this is the lens I, I, I use and it, it works so amazingly I mean it's it has a really nice build uh, it's really sharp and it's a really fast lens also so this 16 to 35 EF is one of my go-to lenses and it sits right in my camera box every single time and one of the most important piece of lenses I actually use, which is a specialty lens, is the EF 100mm macro lens. This lens is just an amazing revelation. I use this lens for details, macro details, uh, especially sometimes when I'm shooting weddings. And also, uh, whenever I shoot beauty, this is my go-to lens. This lens is really sharp. Uh, the sharpness is, I mean, I don't know what's, what was built into this lens but uh, it's it's an amazing lens I've, I've also had this lens for so long uh, and it looks like brand new so that's a special testament to say well the build quality of this lens is, is second to none and it's 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 really amazing i really can't get, wait to get my hands on the rf version of this lens i i'm sure it's it's just as good or even much better than 
the EF version which I currently enjoy so much so now that's that for the lenses so right I'll go to some of the accessories I use uh, and the accessories that are really important to me in my camera bag and first on that list will be the RF adapter for adapter mount for for EF lenses I mean or EF adapter mount for RF uh, bodies this is just an amazing revelation uh, I have so many uh, versions of this but this particular version i'm holding is the drop-in filter version which enables you to drop in a filter into the adapter body what this does in essence is just eliminates the need to put different filter or ring sizes or filter in front of your lens so all this does is just slip the filter right into the mount holder and you're good to go so inside this mount holder, I can put a variable ND filter, I can put a polarizing filter, and it just really uh, cuts down the amount of bulky uh, equipment I carry. I can just use just one filter for several different lenses that I already have in my camera kit bag. So this is an amazing tool. And what this does in essence also is it converts my already existing EF lenses. Uh, I can, so I can use them on the RF body so that's in essence is just amazing and it's a very very important and vital piece of equipment sometimes if if, if I go out and I don't uh, carry this I mean I just that means I can't use my EF lenses so this as small as it is is very very important and vital in my camera kit bag and some of the most important accessories I also use in my camera bag is the CAD, the storage unit. Um, so because I use the EOS R5 exclusively, uh, the, the sports, the CF Express CAD, uh, CAD options and the SD card options. So in my camera kit bag, I have a CF Express, which is a fantastic form factor card and I have the SD SD cards which is also very old but uh, very reliable and very it cuts across I mean anywhere you go in the world uh, everybody uses the uh, SD card so uh, that's one of the major advantages of using the R5 it gives me uh, access to so many many options uh, so even if I travel and I forget my cards I can always walk into a store and buy SD card and use in my camera so that sits right in my camera bag every day and next one of the most important accessories also is my battery the camera batteries and one thing that is really good about this ERS R5 is it spots the LPE6 N or LPE6 batteries which dates back as far back as the 5D Mark III's and the 6D's, 60D's. These are the same batteries. I have, I've had some of these batteries for five, six, seven years and I still keep using them. So they're so versatile and very good and very reliable. And last but not the least that I'll show you here is the camera theta cables that I use. Uh, I use this when I'm shooting and I need to show what is what is going on during the shoot on the laptop just to monitor how things are and how things are going. So this is the camera theta cable I use. It's a USB-C to USB-C so it plugs directly into my R5 and plugs directly into my uh, laptop uh, which is I mean it just makes file transfer very easy and it, it, it helps me keep tabs on uh, how things are going even sometimes when I need to shoot and I need to sh trigger remotely I can actually use my laptop to trigger the camera and take pictures from extreme uh, angles that I probably won't be able to stand in and that's one of the advantages of having this in your camera kit bag so guys, that's it for what's in my camera kit bag for now. Until next time, stay creative and keep shooting.